on Carolina Soil is sponsored by Hearns Fine Jewelry. We're at NC State College of Veterinary Medicine. Let's go check out some animals. All right, Derek, so this is a complete different setup than beef cattle. Can you tell me a little bit about where we're at right now? Yeah, right now we're in the dairy barn here at our teaching animal unit at the vet school. Uh, we were fortunate to have this barn built by the college and support from some donors just recently. And the reason that these cows are indoors as opposed to our beef cattle who are outside is because they're really finely tuned athletes. Helen here may not look like it, but she needs really good nutrition to make all the milk that she does every day. And so here in the barn, we can provide her with exactly what she needs and she can have free choice to the best nutrition possible. It's hot out here too. Absolutely. And so here in the barn, we have big fans to keep a breeze blowing. They also have sprinklers that they can walk under and cool off whenever they want. And if they get tired, there's sand bedding. They can go rest whenever they like um, over in the beds. Now, how much milk is a cow producing in a day? So our cows here are probably averaging about 80 pounds of milk per day. Um, and so that works out to be about 10-ish gallons per cow per day. Um, but some of them will exceed over 100 pounds of milk per day. Veterinarians are highly involved in this process at dairies. Um, most dairies will have a veterinarian visit every week or at least every month. And so veterinarians play a key role in making sure that the cows are healthy, making sure their welfare is good, and making sure that the milk that everybody consumes is safe from any sort of antibiotics or any uh, contagious diseases. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely, thank you. I hope you learned just as much as I did today. Join us next week on Carolina Soil with me, Emily, for anything and everything agriculture. On Carolina Soil is sponsored by Hearns Fine Jewelry.